guys and thank you so much for joining me today. Today what I'm going to be doing is a dirty pool to create a background and then I'm going to give that some time to dry and once it's dried what I'm going to do is apply a stencil on top of that. Um, adding a stencil to a pool that you might have done is a great way to make it, you know, just to add some additional interest to the pool. So yeah, that's the plan for today. To create the background, I'm going to layer in these colors that I have over here. The first one is Crimson by Artist Loft. And then I'm going to add a little bit of Deco Art Champagne Gold. This is the Extreme Sheen Metallic Paint. The next color I'm adding is Deco Art, um, again, Extreme Sheen Metallic Paint, and this time it is in its 24 karat gold. The paint ratios that I used for the crimson, I mixed that in a ratio of four parts paint to eight parts Floetrol to three and a half parts water. The champagne gold and the 24 karat gold, I mixed those in the ratio of four parts paint to eight parts Floetrol to one and a half parts water. I'm using 165 grams of red paint. I have about 30 grams, 31 grams of the other two colors. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour out the paint onto the background. Here we have the dry version of the painting that we did earlier. What I'm going to do is mix up some paint and gloss gel and that's what we're going to apply over the stencil over here um, to create the stencil effect on the canvas. So off camera, I prepared the canvas. I secured the stencil to the canvas using this painter's tape around the edges. And I've added a few little paint bottles really just to keep the stencil directly on the canvas as opposed to gaping open because um, I don't want the gel that I'm going to apply to go underneath the stencil. So I'm going to start off with this clear gel first. This is literally straight out of the container and then I'll apply the next, the next coat. The way I kind of think of applying it is almost, it's almost like applying butter to bread. So you just want to go lightly and spread it evenly over the, over the, the canvas. I want the finish of the stencil to be smooth and not rough like this so what I'm going to do is just go over with with this so that I can try and smooth it out a little bit. Always close your gel when you're finished working with it because it does dry really quickly. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and apply the red gel mixture that I mixed earlier. 
yeah, so here we go. I'm going to bring you in for a front view as well as a close-up now. But that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you again next time. Goodbye.